Looker Studio Tutorial for Beginners 2023 Step by Step. Hello everyone, welcome back to another video. I hope you all are doing great and are having an amazing and incredible day. I bring you back with yet another video and in this video we're going to be discussing about Looker Studio and how you can use this absolutely amazing and great platform to basically unlock the power of your data with interactive dashboards and beautiful reports that inspire smarter business allocations okay and uh, we're going to be discussing it all in great depth i'm going to be showing you you know blank reports tutorial reports and different you know templates of different reports that uh, you can you know make and do for yourself and it's going to be absolutely easy it's going to be really simple and uh, yeah we're going to be talking about it all in great depth so without further ado let's just get straight into it so what we're going to do is we're going to come to looker studio here it's going to say lookerstudio.google.com so we're going to come straight into this now once you turn on looker studio obviously over here you can see tons and tons of things going on so on the top left you can see the looker studio logo and you can see all these things down here so first of all here it says start with a template so in the templates it could either be a blank report for looker studio you have a tutorial report acme marketing search console report google ads overview a youtube channel report and much much more so obviously you can go ahead and create a report for yourself straight away and the first thing that we need to do is add a data source to our report. OK, so let's say we're going to click on create over here. OK, and once you click on create, it's going to open, you know, this whole report interface, etc. So I'm going to go ahead and click create report. OK, and once you do that, obviously, it's going to give you all these uh, different things to, you know, add data source and everything. So to get started, let's complete your account setup. Obviously, first of all, you're going to do the whole account setup thing. So let's go ahead and do that. First of all, you're going to choose your country, obviously, and make sure to choose the correct country. Like, don't put in any irrelevant info uh, with the company name. It doesn't matter because you can just change it later. So how Looker Studio can help connect to all your data sources, bring your insights together, create meaningful visualizations, reports and dashboards with a few clicks easily collaborate and share information across your organization okay so once we get the gist of that we're going to click on continue so here we are select which updates you want to receive you can unsubscribe or change these in the user settings later you can also unsubscribe at any time by clicking on a link within our emails regardless of your selections we may still send you information about important product updates that may impact your account so obviously you can go ahead and yes to all but obviously tips and recommendations product announcements uh, i'm gonna go with no on them because you know, I don't really want emails or news regarding these things. So once you do that, as you can see, it takes you into the untitled report of your account. And here you can see your account is set it up. And now it's going to say add data to your report. OK, now adding data to your report is pretty like essential and necessary. So obviously to add a data to do this, we need to use a connector. So basically, this is simply the way we get data into our report. OK, so we can see that all of the Google connectors are listed first. So these are all the connectors. This includes the connectors for Google Analytics, Google Ads, Google Sheets and more. Scrolling down, you can find connectors from other partners as well. This includes a range of connectors from Supermetrics and other third parties. OK, you can use these if there isn't a Google connector available for you. For example, if you wanted to include data from Facebook or LinkedIn, you would need to use one of these connectors since Google does not provide inbuilt connectors. OK, and moving on, you can search for connectors and you can also select my data sources for yourself. So let's say you're going to go in my data to use data sources that you have previously connected to other reports, as you can see. So I'm going to select Google Analytics as the connector for this report. OK, so we can select the Google Analytics account account that we want to so to do that and the property we want to use for that report obviously so first of all I'm going to go ahead and authorize my Google Analytics account okay and once you authorize your Google Analytics account obviously you're going to choose the account and then you're going to choose the proper property okay now I'm going to go with this this is a store of mine and uh, today we're going to use Google's GA4 or Google Analytics 4 property and I'm going to go ahead and click on add now once you do that like uh, when you you know create your report so once we're happy we just need to click add to report okay here you have all this so so, oh, you know, and you're going to click on add to report. And once you do that, obviously, it's going to create a report for you. So we can see that a table is automatically added to our report. And we're looking at the report canvas, which is where we build our proper report. OK, and uh, across the top, we have a range of options. For example, we can select insert or add a chart to add visualizations to our report. This includes time series charts, column charts, combo charts, pie charts, bar charts, you know, tables, bubble maps, fields, maps, heat maps, line maps. So, you know, different types of geo charts, scorecards, scatter charts, bullet charts, stacked area charts, and, you know, 
pivot table, stream maps, gauges, and much, much more. There's like a whole list. Since the table is selected, we can modify this chart using the panel on the right hand side for ourselves. We can see there are two columns. So the first column lets us adjust the visualization on the right hand side. This is where we can change the dimensions and metrics presented in the proper chart and change the style of the chart. Okay. And the second column shows us all of the fields that are properly available for you for the data source. So this lets us view all of the available dimensions and metrics that we can actually use. Okay, so we're going to create a dashboard that shows us how people are finding about our website and we're going to include various elements from Google Analytics acquisition reports. So let's start by changing the dimension from event name. So we can see our marketing channels. Okay. To do this, we can click on the current dimension, obviously over here. And here's your current dimension and, you know, search for session default grouping and everything. So session default there we go so there's the session default now let's you can obviously change the metric that's presented in the channel by going down here and you know you turn on uh, do this stuff and then you can also add operational metrics and now you can add another metric to the report by just coming over here you know you have this and uh, let's say i'm gonna add rpu you can change the views as well pretty simple stuff and then you can search for the metric you want to add so you can search uh, add more stuff like uh, metric or you know add average purchase revenue let's say so you can add that and you can send it to you know number of people on your website pretty basic and easy stuff and you can also quickly see your important marketing channel widgets and prompts which is also pretty simple and pretty easy you have all these different data sources and ad sources that you can add again pretty simple and easy stuff to get your head around you have you know different country ids date hour minute etc etc you can add fields add parameters and uh, yeah it's it's just the whole full suite of how things actually work with the you know your proper untitled report looker studio so yeah that's basically about it when it comes to discussing looker studio and uh, i'm going to give you a brief overview of how you're going to do this so just go on google lookerstudio.google.com just go over there and uh, once you do that obviously go ahead into the whole analytical graph chart all that bit and once you go into that as you can see you can get tons and tons of different data analytical sections different items you can blend data you can add dimensions you can add metrics and much much more so you know it's the basic suite of uh, the general lookout of how things actually are and how you can actually mess around or work with them so yeah that's basically about it for this video now if you enjoyed it please do make sure to drop down a like and subscribe to the channel and if you want to see more videos like this in the foreseeable future let me know down in the comments below and i will be making more for you and if you have any issue with this video please let me know so i can fix it for you as soon as i can in the comments but yeah that's about it so thank you for watching this video till the end that was all from me and i will be seeing all of you incredible people next time goodbye